Hi, welcome to the DevNet Zone, media zone within DevNet space at Cisco Live Europe. My name is Kaval Kumel, Technical Program Manager with Cisco DevNet, and I'm joined here with our API expert, Steph Sparts. Steph, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. So, Steph, I lead Cisco API Experience Program in Developer Relations. Um, the program uh, is about defining standards for Cisco APIs. We look at developer resources, such as documentation, but we also look at the design of our APIs and the backward compatibility of our APIs. So we can discuss, we're going to discuss, I guess, a bit more about that today. Yes, yes we are. And thank you so much for joining us. I know we've done a few touch points before and we've talked extensively yeah. about APIs, but there's this new initiative, this API experience thing going on. Um, I would love for you to share a little bit more about that. Yeah, I can understand that because Generally, in the industry, you hear about API design or developer experience. So right. what is API experience? Um, API experience, it's about we try to look at not only the developer experience, but also we touch to and with engineering groups about the best ways to build their API so mm -hmm. that they can deliver that experience that developers expect. So it's a bit of the two sides of the coin, the mm -hmm. developer experience and the API implementation, operation, everything you need to do mm -hmm. on the engineering side mm -hmm. so that you can get a great developer experience. So that's what we cover, both standards. Oh, okay, nice. Um, and you've done a few sessions over here. I know Monday you started off a discussion around API contracts, right? Sure. Um, would you want to share a little bit more on why API contracts are important? Yeah, and the title of the session why was Why API Contracts Matter. Okay. <laughs> so definitely. Perfect, the uh, right question then. Yeah, so uh, at the end of the day, um, you don't, you, you consume, when you consume an API, you consume the operations, you look at the errors, the payloads, mm -hmm. and um, all of that, we call it the API contract. Right. Um, and there's a difference between this and the documentation, mm -hmm. okay? That's two different parts. Mm -hmm. And at Cisco, we've been looking a lot at the contracts mm -hmm. um, because this is the part of your API and the description of your API that needs to be very stable over time right. because our developer community invests on these technical contracts. Of course, they're technical contracts. Mm -hmm. and, um, and along the API lifecycle, release updates of the API, uh, we check that these contracts are backward compatible. So everything backward compatibility matters, yeah. and this is why API contracts matter. You need to find a way to look at them. Right, and there was an announcement on backward compatibility a short while ago as well, right? That's true, we have to put everything in context. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So why are we doing all this? And uh, uh, on November 1st, um, we, we were very happy uh, to announce backward compatibility moving forward mm -hmm. for Cisco APIs. Um, we do back first. Uh, we do API first. Uh, let's start with this. Mm -hmm. API first is this initiative where you want to consider your API as, as a product. Mm -hmm. On this journey, you look at developer resources, documentation, design, but also backward compatibility. Mm -hmm. And we wanted to go further and to take a strong commitment at Cisco mm -hmm. regarding backward compatibility. Mm -hmm. So on stage, we had only engineering leads. Uh, announced commitment to backward compatibility for seven APIs nice. starting in October 2022. And along the way, on the path of our journey, mm -hmm. we're going to have more announcements from Cisco product groups and APIs. So nice. follow along, good news coming. But for a lot of our APIs, um, if you look at the documentation on developer.cisco.com recently, mm -hmm. we've been providing more details on the changelog, for mm -hmm. example. So that it's easier for developers to understand the updates coming right. from one version to another. So you can already see this overall movement and the energy of right. API first getting and being visible, mm -hmm. surfaced on developer.cisco.com right. documentations. Yeah. And speaking of announcements, wasn't there another announcement around um, Cisco joining an initiative? The Open API Initiative? Yes. That was around the same date. Uh, we officially joined the Open API initiative in August, and it was announced in October. Mm -hmm. But this goes all together. Um, in order to create those API contracts and to define them, mm -hmm. you need to use a language, a specification, a format. Right. And the format you, you, we used uh, at Cisco and in the world, in the worldwide industry, to describe APIs is the Open API specification. Right. Because we've been investing so much on the Open API specification, 
Um, we decided that it was time for Cisco to be really joining the initiative. Mm -hmm. So we are now proud to be a sponsor, a member of the initiative and um, so that we can take it further. Nice. Uh, we've already uh, worked on and we, have, we are seeing uh, areas for extending mm -hmm. the specification for more usage with engineering right. and more needs. Uh, and we will propose some of the work we've been doing to the initiative uh, overall and benefit the world. But uh, at, at, at last, and at least um, we, we joined the initiative and we are very pleased with that. That's, that's awesome news. And I know that you've, we, we also have our participants over here at the DevNet Zone actually participating in an API initiative that we did, right, as, as the DevNet team. Um, would you like to explain more about this whole API insights? Um, I think you have a demo here in, in the DevNet Zone. Would you like to expand a little bit more on the initiative, how it came together, and what kind of demo they should expect? Yeah, so in the DevNet Zone, we are showing a preview mm -hmm. of the next version of API Insights. Mm -hmm. API Insights is the tool we use internally mm -hmm. in order to track and facilitate um, detecting breaking changes for APIs. Mm -hmm. So imagine you've got an API, you can import your open API definition mm -hmm. into the tool, and you can open the next version of the definition, etc., etc. This is This creates a life cycle mm -hmm. of your API. And among those different releases, you can get the change log. And if there's a breaking change, it will be detected. Oh, so nice. that's the whole tool set we're using in order to deliver that promise and that commitment for backward compatibility. Nice, nice. And this tool, we delivered it in open source hmm. back in, I would say, around the same time frame, in October, November last year. Oh. And uh, we've been working with engineering to improve the tool on our backward compatibility journey and API first. And, um, and this new release we are previewing here, and it's going to be announced within the next few months and uh, pushed externally uh, mm -hmm. as an open source co continuation of this open source uh, effort we are doing uh, to share this mm -hmm. experience with other API practitioners. Mm -hmm. It's not for sale. You won't buy it from Cisco. It's our experience, mm -hmm. and we want to contribute this experience to the other industry And it will players. remain open source? Oh, it, it remains open source, it's open source, and we are trying to push as much, and we, we, uh, we were in API Days Paris mm -hmm. very lately, that was uh, December, mm -hmm. and we met a lot of API practitioners, and they were enthusiastic about the tool, and uh, we hope to see some contributions coming at some point, but for now, there's still a lot of work to do on the tool to make it more mature, and, um, um, and for an organization like Cisco, mm -hmm. uh, we've been working a lot on the customization, and the ability you can you can really silo your different APIs, mm -hmm. so that if you've got different groups working on different APIs, they can have their own working environment isolated from one another. Mm. So that is what you can see in API Insight: is taking this idea of open API initiative and lifecycle mm -hmm. to the next stage of a large organization. Yeah. So okay. you've got dashboards, tool sets, and uh, everything you need also to integrate with CI/CD pipelines. Ah, okay. So if I know our audience, not everybody is able to attend Cisco Live or attend a demo. So if they are or if they are looking to get more information or provide feedback or get hands on to this tool, where can they contact us? So how to contact us? So you've got several options. The first one I mentioned about API Insights. So you can go to the website, developer.cisco.com slash API dash insights. You'll get some information, videos on the version that is already open sourced. Uh, you will also have the possibility to subscribe, to receive updates, so that's one. And all the options is to follow our blogs, uh, blog.cisco.com slash developer, and there you will get the latest stories and you will be able to follow or updates on what we think about API contracts, why do they matter, we give some tutorials. And um, we also published recently a learning lab, uh, and that's a very well done because it's our learning lab 2.0 experience. You will have the ability to be looking at the tutorial, step-by-step -step, um, uh, instructions in order to test API Insights. And while you read these instructions, you have the, ab the ability to play and interact directly with the tool uh, with an interactive console. So this is what we call the eMERGE experience of uh, our Learning Lab 2.0 platform. So that is awesome. get there. That is awesome. And we can collect all the resources and we can make sure that they're available to our viewers as well. Um, and so make sure you follow the URL on screen 
Uh, you're going to be able to get more information on API Insights. The wealth of knowledge that, that Steph has shared with me and uh, with all of you will be shared as well on the, on the URL. Uh, so make sure you check it out and keep updated. Keep in touch with us. Uh, if you're looking for more updates on this or more demo information, feel free to reach out to us anytime. Thank you so much for, thank you, Steph, for being with us. And thank you all for, you. for your interest in API Insights. And we look forward to hearing from you. See you.